What's going on guys? Made the trip up to North Florida today. Right now we are in Osceola National Forest. Uh, I really, really like this area. Been here several times before. It's just beautiful scenery, completely different than South Florida. Of course we're going to be doing some fishing, so I brought along uh, a whole bunch of red worms and I'm going to be fishing some smaller hooks, hoping for a banded sunfish. So I've been up here a couple times looking for a banded sunfish, have been unable to find one. Got a lot of blue spotted sunfish and a lot of mud sunfish last time I was here, but the banded has eluded me, so that's the goal. Now, I've only ever been up here in the fall and the super early winter. And back then, uh, during those times, the water levels were still pretty high from the summer. Driving up here, I was a little worried that this time of year, uh, the water levels would be pretty low because it just hasn't uh, rained a lot. The rainy season is basically just starting now. And as I got here, those, kind of, those concerns kind of became validated because a lot of the spots that I fished uh, in the fall don't have any water or it's just like a little muddy puddle. Uh, so might be a little difficult to find some fishable water, but we're going to give it a shot. I found one little spot that I'm going to start fishing in. I already saw some little mosquito fish. Hopefully we don't just get those and hopefully there's some other fish uh, under, there that, under there that I can't see. So let's give it a shot and let's see what happens. All right, here we go, spot number one. Uh, got a little piece of red worm, size 16 hook. This is the little ditch we're going to start fishing. This is where I saw a couple of those mosquito fish. There's a lot of action in the water. Uh, it's like chocolate milk though, so I can't really tell what the action is, whether it's just mosquito fish or whatnot. But yeah, we'll drop that little piece in and hopefully it gets picked up by some larger fish. What is that? Oh, all right, not a fish, but we got ourselves a little crawfish type thing that is just hanging on to the worm. So I'll take a quick pick of this guy. It's a cool little catch, but it is not what I wanted. Yeah, so I think I have fished this little hole uh, pretty heavily. I covered basically every single spot in this little area and all I got out of there was that little crawfish. Still see a lot of mosquito fish on the surface but I don't think there's anything bigger down there. So there's a lot of these little ditches so I'm going to drive over to the next one. All right, so this is spot number two. Oh, that's an anthill. I don't want to step on that. But this is spot number two. There's definitely a lot more water in here. I can see some frogs down there. That's not what I want. But yeah, let me drop this down there. Let's see if there are some fish down in this hole. Got him. Fish on. Dropped it. Let's get him. All right, so first fish of the day is a beauty. It is a nice little mud sunfish. So I love catching these guys just because they are not found in a lot of bodies of water. You just got to fish kind of these out of the way bodies of water that most fishermen just kind of pass by to catch these guys. But it's a beautiful little fish. So I guess there are still some larger fish left here. But yeah, nice mud sunfish. Drop this guy back. And let's keep fishing. Right there, got him. Oh, what is this thing? This might be a banded. This is a banded. Let's go. Photo tank time. All right, so check out this beauty, my first ever banded sunfish. I wasn't sure at first because I caught a lot of blue spotted out of here, never banded, and these guys look pretty similar. But let me push them here up against 
the glass, you can now, hopefully you can see, you can see the, ba the vertical bands running along the body, uh, but then right below the eye, you can see kind of like a full blue line, whereas a blue spotted has kind of two dots. So, who this is a great catch. My second only, fi my second fish out of here, and it's the one that I really, really wanted. I, I'm happy. All right, quick pick of this guy, and then let's get him back. What a great start to the trip. I mean, that little fish made the six hour drive up here worth it. I was worried we weren't gonna get anything out of these ditches, but not only did we get something, we got the one fish that I really, really wanted. So let's keep fishing this one for a little bit more. See what else we can get, maybe a nicer example of a uh, banded sunfish. And then we'll move on, try to find some other bodies of water, but yeah. I'm happy. You can't beat that. Oh, there's a bite. There's a fish. All right, another mud sunfish looks like. Let's take a look at this guy. Yeah, so no photo tank for this guy, but it's another cute little mud sunfish. I would love to one day have like a swamp tank with just a couple mud sunfish couple bandits, couple blue spotteds. I think there's such a cool fish that live in such a cool little unique ecosystem. Um, let's make a few more casts here and then I think we'll move on try to find some other body of water to fish. I think it just got picked up. Yes, it just got picked up. What is this thing? Oh, is this another bander or blue spotted? Yeah, so I'm not gonna get the photo tank for this guy, but it is another beautiful, beautiful banded sunfish. So I caught two of these guys now. This one has better colors than the last one, but again, you can see the bands and you can see right below the eye, there's a line and not just two blue dots. So we'll get the hook out of this one. We'll get it back. And I think we're going to try to switch spots, but my day is made. Not only did I get one, one banded sunfish, but I got two. All right, so this will be the next spot. Not sure what to call it exactly. It's definitely bigger. It's like a flooded backwater. But yeah, let's drop the, uh, the red worm on down. Let's see if he gets picked up over in this spot here. fish on. Oh, this one's bigger. What is this? Oh, it's a flyer. All right, so really cool looking fish, the flyer sunfish in a genus all by itself. Doesn't look like the typical sunfish. A lot of people think these are like bluegill crappie hybrids, but they're not. Just a really, really unique and cool looking sunfish. So first flyer of the day. got picked up fish on smaller is it another flyer yeah smaller flyer yeah so second fish out of here is another nice little flyer sunfish only spot I've ever caught them is this forest they're kind of well they're kind of found in the southeastern part of the US but outside of Florida I haven't really fished the southeastern US let's make one more cast here and see if we can get something else Oh, there's a bite. Lost it. Got picked up almost right on the drop. Let's get it back in the same spot. 
Did I just have another hit already? Fish on. What is this thingy? Is it another flyer? Looks like it. Let's take a quick pick of this guy. I'll show him off and then we'll get going. Yeah, so nice little flyer. Third one of these guys out of this little tannic backwater area. We'll throw it back and let's head over to another spot. Next spot seems to be this. I believe it's a creek. On the map, it looks like a creek. You know, the water doesn't seem to be moving much or really at all. But right, let's drop the uh, red worm down there. And let's see if we can get a bite over here. Definitely the biggest body of water I have fished today. Oh, got picked up. What do we got? Another flyer. So I think over here, out of the sun, you can see the colors better, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But uh, these guys have some really, really nice teal turquoise colors on the body. They're really dark just because the water is super tannic. You can see some of those bluish, greenish, tealish turquoise colors starting to come through. So yeah, let's get this flyer back. Let's see what else is down there. got him. These guys like to hit right on the surface. Yeah, so I'll drop the worm all the way down to the bottom, nothing, and then I'll kind of start jigging it on the way up, and usually right when it gets to the surface is when one of these guys hits. So a couple flyers out of here. Seems like those are pretty common in this area. So yeah, we'll make a few more casts, we'll see what we can get, and then we'll move on again. got him. What is this? Another flyer. Looked like something different underwater, but it's not. Third flyer out of this little spot. So yeah, quick pick of this guy. We'll throw him back and then we'll hop over to uh, another little spot. Next spot is another little creek type thing, but the water levels here are really, really low. So yeah, let's drop the uh, red worm down there. Let's see if we can pick something up here. Fish on, first drop, oh, this is different. What, oh, it's a catfish. All right, I do not like handling catfish, but I mean, I got one, so I gotta do it. I've caught yellow bullheads here before, but those guys have white chin barbels. This guy does not have white chin barbels. He's got black. So this might just be a really dark brown bullhead, because I don't think there are black bullheads in Florida. So I'm gonna go with brown. Yeah, quick pick, we'll get it back. Pretty cool catch, wasn't expecting this. It's a big flyer. Well, not a big flyer, but a bigger flyer. Yeah, so the last time I was in this forest, I caught my first ever flyer. Caught a couple that day. Um, but yeah, today, I lost track. I got pictures of all of them, so I'm going to count later. Uh, but I did not show them all to you, just because there are so many of them. But it is a really cool-looking fish. A sli slightly different than most of the sunfish probably people are used to. And that color, the teal turquoise, looks really nice. Got him. Is this another catfish? Yeah, looks like another catfish. This is a yellow bullhead though, right? 
Yeah, so look, this guy, you can see the chin barbels, white chin barbels. So this is a yellow bullhead. Makes me think that last one, even though they look basically the same, makes me think that last one was a brown. I don't know. Anyway, quick pick, we'll get him back. We'll keep fishing. See what this is? Another catfish. So we hit the uh, the catfish honey hole here on this little creek. So I would like to handle this guy as least as possible, but again, uh, brown chin barbels. And you can see this guy has a little bit of a lighter body. You can kind of see that uh, brown bullhead coloration on this guy. So yeah, I think we got ourselves two brown bullheads and one yellow bullhead. Got him. Another flyer. Let's take a look at this guy. I think this might do it. All right, so it's certainly one of the smaller flyers of the day, but still really, really cool little fish. So let's drop this guy back and we are going to wrap it up on that. All right guys, so that is gonna do it. I would like to fish for a little bit longer, but sunset is within an hour and I still gotta find a place to spend the night, but absolutely great day. Fish for about two, two and a half hours driving all over uh, Osceola National Forest. But I mean, my goal was to get a banded sunfish, and we got two of those, I believe, over uh, way, way, way in the beginning, the second spot. So, I mean, my day was made from there. And then we got to explore the forest a little bit, got a whole bunch of flyers. I mean, too many to count, too many to remember. Uh, but then, yeah, a couple catfish, a couple mud sunfish. We got two bluegill that I don't think I showed you, uh, just because bluegill are a little bit more of a boring catch compared to everything else. But yeah, really, really nice uh, evening here. So yeah. Uh, that's going to do it. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.